Good morning, and welcome to the 2020 Commencement Ceremony. This is an exciting day under these circumstances. I am pleased to be here to recognize the hard work of students and celebrate their next steps towards a bright future. Today's virtual ceremony includes aspects of the traditional commencement ceremony, such as a singing of the national anthem and a student speaker, as well as videos and photos of members of the class of 2020 and special guest appearances. I am Keith Curry, president of Compton College. While the ceremony is virtual, the pride and accomplishment these students feel is genuine and well-deserved. And I am proud to say that I truly believe that every student is a success story. And today we celebrate our student success. Ladies and gentlemen, in a moment, Marlena Owens will begin singing the national anthem. stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket rippling the bombs bursting in gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the What an incredible voice. Thank you, Marlena. Today, we are celebrating the Compton College class of 2020. This is Compton College's first commencement ceremony since the college began to operate as an independent college. Accredited courses are now offered under the authority of the Compton Community College District, and all students earning degrees or certificates at Compton College will be issued a Compton College diploma. Congratulations to the students who have met the requirements to graduate with an associate's degree or a certificate. We are pleased to also have Compton Early College students join us here today. They are the second graduating cohort of Compton Unified School District who have earned an associate's degree while still in high school. Congratulations to the special group of students. And congratulations to all of our graduates. Through your commitment and determination to learn, you have achieved an important milestone along your educational journey. Today is a culmination of your hard work. For that, we applaud you. Your achievement reflects the dedication to student learning by Compton College faculty. For this, we thank the faculty members. And we thank the family and friends who are here to celebrate with you. Before we proceed with the program, I would like to take this time to acknowledge the Compton Community College District Board of Trustees and members of the Compton College Administration. Sonia Lopez, President. Dr. Sharani Little, Vice President. Barbara Calhoun, clerk. Dr. Deborah LeBlanc, member. Andres Ramos, member. Student trustee, Willie Lee, Jr. <laughs> and now, it is with distinct pleasure to introduce Sonia Lopez, president of the Board of Trustees. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. While we would have preferred to see you all in person, it is an honor to celebrate this day nonetheless. Let me start by thanking our staff, for their tireless work and coordination. In the face of a pandemic, your dedication has made all the difference in ensuring our institution and its students are safe and supported. Thank you. Today we pause to celebrate a milestone for our graduates and our institution. Like our beloved Compton College, many of you have overcome tremendous obstacles to see this reality today. It could be said, that we all have a mountain to climb. That journey was not easy, but you made it. So stop 
and enjoy the view from the mountain top. And make sure this isn't your last time reaching the summit of success. Many of you are the first in your family to earn a degree or a certificate. Many of you came back to school after taking time away. Some of you thought that a graduation of any type was just not in the cards for you, but you did it. You are here. I want you to know that you do not graduate alone. Many generations that come before you and those that come to follow in your footsteps cross the finish line with you today. So too does Compton College as we celebrate our first commencement as a fully accredited independent institution. Like yours, the success of this college paves the way for many to come. Know that this institution stands ready to support and serve you in reaching your next chapter in life. We are invested in your success and want to see you do well. We are faced with a historical event that none of us ever faced in our lifetimes. The world we see today is one that none of us imagined. While these unprecedented times have caused major shifts in the way we do things, they also present us with tremendous opportunities. We know that what we knew as normal was not perfect. In fact, in many ways, the old norms were just not working. Too many of us felt that the many ways in which society was just not fair and people like you and I were hit harder than some with challenges and obstacles and we did not bring on ourselves. Nevertheless, I am not hoping we go back to normal, but that we build better a more just society that is rooted in compassion and empathy and justice. Each and every one of you will help us do that no matter where your journey takes you. Things will get better because of you. And as you leave our campus, I have no doubt that you will be part of finding the solutions that our communities face, tackling challenges and minimizing harm. That is what Compton College graduates do. I am excited to hear about the amazing things you, Compton College graduates, achieve, including the positive impact in our communities and younger generations. I am a Compton College graduate. It's something you can now say with pride. Wear that title as a badge of honor. Proudly display your diplomas and certificates and use them as a motivation to push you to your next milestone. We will be here cheering you on. Congratulations, class of 2020. Hoy hacemos una pausa para celebrar un hito para nuestros graduados y nuestra institución. Al igual que nuestro querido Compton College, muchos de ustedes han superado enormes obstáculos para ver esta realidad hoy. Se puede decir que todos hemos tenido una montaña para escalar. Ese viaje no, fa no fue fácil, pero lo hiciste. Así, ténganse y disfruten de la vista desde el cima de la montaña y asegúrense de que esta no sea la última vez que llegue al cima del éxito. Muchos de ustedes son los primeros en su familia en obtener un título o un certificado. Muchos de ustedes regresaron a la escuela después de tomarse un tiempo. Algunos de ustedes pensaron que una graduación de cualquiera de cualquier tipo, simplemente no estaba en sus tarjetas para ustedes. Pero lo hicieron. Están aquí. Quiero que sepan que no se graduan solos. Muchas generaciones que vinieron antes que ustedes y los que vendrán siguen sus pasos, cruzan esta línea de meta con ustedes hoy. Felicidades. Thank you, Board President Lopez. Our first commencement speaker today is Jonathan Ripto. Jonathan is a graduate of King Drew Magnet High School of Medicine and Science in Los Angeles, California. He is an honor student who will transfer to the University of California, Irvine in fall 2020 as an English major. He hopes to pursue a career as a video game developer and one day establish his own video game development studio. Today, he will speak about the pursuit of truth, overcoming adversity, and the power of education. Please welcome Jonathan Ripto. Life isn't always fair, but what's true is true. And the truth is that everyone graduating today was destined to. Dr. Curry, administrators, faculty, invited online guests, and my fellow classmates, I'm glad to be your 2020 commencement speaker here at Compton College. It took a long time for me to understand that I belonged in college. Like many of you, I was a first-generation college student 
with no direction. And on top of that, my dad just passed and I was homeless. Every fiber of my being was screaming that I should be working full time rather than being in school. But something deeper inside assured me that this was exactly where I needed to be. It may have been 18 years in the making or 32, but I assure you that you are exactly where you were supposed to be. Undoubtedly, every one of us had the dream that we would be sitting here right now. Although that vision may not include a global pandemic, quarantine, and living off of Amazon essentials. But I assure you that you are exactly where you're supposed to be. As a testament to our strength and our character and our perseverance, we stand valiantly here today. Breathe deeply. We made it. Looking back today is our duty to reflect on the time we spent with those who ensured our success and encouraged our growth. For me, it was when my daddy told me, education is a marathon. Just keep running. Don't stop. And don't you dare look back for anyone who ain't running beside you. Whatever those words were or whatever that moment was, I know that it is lasered into your memories. To make it this far, you've had to grip that memory deep within yourself, sometimes so deep that you thought it would suffocate, but you were sure to nurture it. Oftentimes, fearing that if you were to lose grasp on it, it would slip away and you would crumble into dust. Finding faith in yourself is not easy. You know this as well as I do. But the truth is that these turning points are the building block of character. And without this turning point, you would not be here today. Life isn't always fair, but what's true is true. And the truth is that all of you graduating today have struggled and sacrificed to make this dream a reality. Losing a parent is difficult. It's even worse when you're homeless. My first year in college was harder than anything I could have imagined. With the mental fatigue, school, and work, I was sure I would wash out. But miraculously, I found a way to be here every day at Compton at 8 a.m., earning nothing less than a B in my coursework. The more that I attend school, the more I realize there are students like me. Some are single parents, some are sole providers, others have to walk five miles for school, and indeed, a few are homeless. Me giving this speech today is a testament to that statement. I am beyond honored to speak on behalf of my fellow students and my community. I hope I can speak for all of us when I say that I am defined by my struggles. They have made me a stronger and more worldly student. My story is relevant. My actions reflect my character and my struggles have made me strong. And the truth is that without struggles, it is impossible to find meaning. Life isn't always fair, but what's true is true. And the truth is that for everyone graduating today, this it's just the tip of the iceberg. There are more sleepless nights. When I transfer to UC Irvine, earning my bachelor's degree in English won't be easy. It would be hard work. Furthermore, applying that degree will prove quite the challenge. I may not pursue the usual route and become a teacher, even though I have been invited to do so by some of my professors here at Compton. I wanna make video games. And carving my name into that market will require dedication, perseverance, and sheer willpower. You will all achieve great deeds. Your future doctors, lawyers, politicians, teachers, and business owners. Know now that the path that you're on is not an easy one. It will be filled with the sacrifices and fierce competition, but it is yours alone. And the truth is that you cannot walk any other path than your own. To bring this speech to a close, I want you all to know today that we get to reap the fruits of our labor. Enjoy them because you have embarked on a path that many people fear. Compton legend Kendrick Lamar raps, live your life, live it right, be different, and do different things. My fellow graduates, aim high and dream bigger. Let your only limitation be the extent of your imagination. Allow that to be your truth. Congratulations, class of 2020. The world is yours. Thank you, Jonathan. You are a success story. Congratulations and all the best in your future. Our keynote speaker today is Executive Director of the University of Southern California Race and Equity Center, Dr. Sean Harper. In addition to spearheading the Race and Equity Center, Dr. Harper is a Provost Professor in the Rosser School of Education at the Marshall School of Business at USC. Dr. Harper was appointed to President Barack Obama's My Brother's Keeper Advisory Council in 2015. 
and recognizing Education Weekly as one of the 10 most influential professors in the field of education in 2017. He earned his doctorate degree from Indiana University, and he is a graduate of Albany State University. Please welcome Dr. Sean Harper. Congratulations, Compton College, Class of 2020. I am deeply honored and grateful that President Keith Curry invited me to deliver this year's commencement address. At the time of his invitation, we imagined we'd be together all in one space with your family members, loved ones, and the Compton College faculty and staff. Although that is impossible at this time because of the global pandemic, please know that your family members, loved ones, and the Compton College faculty and staff all salute you. They're all so proud of you, and they are celebrating your incredible accomplishments right now across a multitude of locations. My message to this year's graduates is about imagination during an especially tough moment in American history. There's been so much talk about a new normal in our forthcoming post COVID-19 era. I fully expect that most of you are indeed imagining being able to safely reunite for fun times with your friends, spending time with elders in your families without fear of exposing them to the coronavirus, being able to go back to work, to the beach, to the gym, and other places without the constant burden of physical distancing and wearing masks. My hope is that we won't have to imagine a return to these particular norms for much longer. But the imagination I'm calling for in this address is not at all about COVID-19. It is about imagining justice as we move out of the pandemic. It is about imagining a new normal in America that is inclusive, equitable, and fair for all. On June 13, 1998, exactly 22 years ago tomorrow, I graduated from college. I would not have imagined 22 years ago that I will be addressing a brilliant group of community college graduates as your commencement speaker. I would not have imagined that a person who grew up as poor as me in a single parent home in a racially segregated community in rural South Georgia would become a prize winning professor, author, high impact researcher, and reasonably handsome Instagram model who scores a respectable number of likes on each of his posts. I never really imagined myself growing up to become a scholar who gets to use his voice and platform to courageously fight racism, sexism, homophobia, xenophobia, and other ugly manifestations of bigotry and injustice. I imagined none of this for myself on my graduation day 22 years ago. But these are precisely the types of opportunities my enslaved ancestors imagined as they were terrorized for 400 years in this country. Civil rights activists and those who sacrificed their lives to end Jim Crow segregation in America absolutely imagined that black men would be afforded the opportunities and luxuries that President Curry, other black male professionals, and I currently enjoy. My mother, who labored as a housekeeper during my youth, imagined as she scrubbed on her hands and knees that I would become the leader that I am today. For many scholars in the Compton College class of 2020, family members of yours imagined you would be here today as college graduates. They dare to imagine this as they risked their lives crossing dangerous borders to ensure you had access to freedom and safety, to a higher quality education, and to profitable careers. A teacher imagined you would complete high school and ultimately enroll in and graduate from Compton College. Your Compton College faculty members imagined many of you would complete your associate's degrees and transfer to an impressive array of four-year institutions. A neighbor of yours continues to imagine that you will someday become rich and influential and that you will use your wealth and influence to improve the community in which you were raised. 
your siblings continue to imagine that you will inspire them through your superb example. Class of 2020, be imaginative. Imagine a justice system that actually manufactures justice. Imagine playing a significant role in putting an end to the heartless separation of families and deep mass deportations. Imagine yourself helping end mass incarceration, poverty and wealth inequity, homelessness, cancer, heart disease, AIDS, and future coronaviruses. Through your participation in protests and various activist activities these past couple weeks, some of you have already played important roles in addressing the police murders of unarmed Black women and men. You've helped us imagine a future where that is no longer a common tragedy. I thank you for that. I imagine that a future California governor and several Congress people are in the Compton College class of 2020. A United States president could be in this Compton College class of 2020. I imagine that among us in this fine class of graduates are surgeons, mechanics, nurses, investment bankers, attorneys, K-12 school teachers, college professors, politicians, journalists, technologists, engineers, and others who will lead and advance a wide range of professions. I imagine that the defenders of freedom and justice are in this Compton College class of 2020. I have for you the same hopes and imaginations that Frederick Douglass, Harriet Tubman, Sojourner Truth, Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, and others have for Barack Obama, President Keith Curry, and me. I share the same hopes and imaginations for you that your family members back in Mexico, in the Philippines, in various countries throughout Asia and Africa, and elsewhere around the world had for you. I acknowledge how difficult it is to be imaginative in the midst of darkness. These are indeed dark and troubling times in our nation. But I dare you to push through like you had to do so many other moments and in so many other moments of darkness. Like that time when you were homeless and you had no food to eat. It was hard to imagine keeping your academic focus and commitment to your goals, but you did it. Or like that time that you lost your job or your parent was deported or your sibling was wrongly convicted and subsequently incarcerated or your dear friend was shot and murdered. Those were all dark times, but you somehow imagine continuing on in pursuit of your college dreams despite that darkness. I dare you to do that again and again and again. Compton College Class of 2020, for the rest of your lives and your careers, I urge you to do all you can to make the seemingly unimaginable imaginable. Bravo and congratulations. Thank you, Dr. Harper, for your inspiring words. We also have some other special guests who would like to provide some words of encouragement to our graduates. Hey, everybody. It's Governor Gavin Newsom. And first partner, Jennifer Siebel Newsom. Congratulations, class of 2020. We are so proud of you. This is a remarkable feat. We know it wasn't easy, especially in the past few months, having to adjust to online learning, probably moving out of your dorms, um, some of you being the first in your families to graduate. Yeah. We know that this isn't what you imagined this day would look like and feel like, uh, but you, you're here. You did it. We're so proud of you. And no one can take it away from you. And I know you're filled, a lot of us are filled with a little bit of fear, a little bit of anxiety about this being the new normal. It is not the new normal. We'll get through this, but we have to get through it together. And I love to say, because it's true, no one stands taller than when he or she bends down on one knee to help lift other people up. I think if there's anything in life you can do is see the world from a different set of eyes, not just your own. Be a little more empathetic, a little bit more compassionate. And if you are, uh, together we'll get through this much sooner than you think. So take care of yourselves, be proud of yourselves. We cannot wait to see what you do for California in the days to come. Congratulations. Congrats to the class of 2020. Hey, Compton College. 
Congratulations. Congratulations to the students of the class of 2020. You will go down in history. This has been a crazy year. This has been a difficult year, um, but you persevered. And I can't tell you how important that is to the community of Compton, to the state of California, and to the nation. You, the students of Compton College and the class of 2020, are going to change the world and for the better, finally. So thank you to the parents that supported all the students that are celebrating today. Thank you to Dr. Curry and the entire Compton College family for doing an amazing job and for the entire community. The community of Compton is so important to the future of California, particularly now, more than ever. So congratulations, go out there and change the world. We need you and thank you. Thank you for choosing the California Community Colleges and I look forward to celebrating all of your future success. Take care and have a wonderful, wonderful celebration, even if it is at home or wherever you're celebrating. This is still a huge event for you and you should be very proud. I know I'm proud. Take care. And again, congratulations to the class of 2020. Hello, I'm Dr. Thomas Barnham, president of California State University, Dominguez Hills. And on behalf of our illustrious faculty, magnificent staff, our great senior administration, and the 17,000 plus students at this magnificent institution of higher learning, I would like to congratulate the Compton College graduating class of 2020. We're so proud of all you have accomplished and impressed by the grit and perseverance you have demonstrated in achieving this educational milestone. You know, it was Brother Malcolm who argued that education is the passport to the future, for tomorrow belongs to those who have prepared for it today. You have engaged your academic journey with a commitment and determination to expand your base of knowledge across many academic disciplines, develop the necessary skills and competencies to apply that newfound information and knowledge, and challenge the personal biases and assumptions that have prevented you from reaching a higher degree of potential. And that's what your community will need to thrive as well. And while you continue on your educational journey, know that life will present you with a series of opportunities, challenges, and responsibilities but know that by attaining your degree at Compton College and furthering your education at institutions like the California State University, Dominguez Hills, or other universities in the state or across the nation, you will be better poised and positioned to meet those life endeavors with confident reassurance. At California State University, Dominguez Hills, we are proud of the historic relationship we've enjoyed with Compton College. And you students who have applied and been admitted to our Dominguez Hills University will be the latest to continue your academic and co-curricular learning in the Toro Nation. Our professors, staff, and your student peers will embrace you with open arms. Personally, I can't wait to welcome you to our campus and greet you as time and conditions allow. In the meantime, enjoy this moment that you and your families have worked so hard for and know that you now represent the best ideals of pursuing excellence and personal empowerment. Congratulations again to all of you, and I look forward to bearing witness to what you will all accomplish in the next journey and phase of your life. Take care. Compton graduates, congratulations. I'm Martha Cantor, and I lead the College Promise in Washington, D.C., having served as President Obama's Undersecretary of Education for five years. I am so proud of you. You are living and leading others through the COVID-19 pandemic at a pivotal time in our history, where we have the opportunity to end racism and discrimination now once and for all. We come together today to celebrate your hard work and perseverance for becoming a Compton graduate, achievements that will be with you forever. Today, you have set the standard for students who will follow you in your footsteps, whether it's a brother, a sister, a nephew, niece, aunt, uncle, or a friend. People that just don't think college is in the possible realm of what they can do. You are now the role model for others. 
I ask you to bring them forward. We wish you every success in life, through the worst of times that we're in right now, to the peaks ahead of us for a better nation. What you've done is truly awesome. I want you to speak up and do your part to build a future where everyone can benefit together, in unity, indivisible. That's where we need to go. Congratulations, you've done it. I want to express our appreciation to our wonderful speakers, our graduates. You have heard words of guidance and encouragement today that I hope you'll remember. Congratulations and best wishes to each of you. And now, for the moment you have been all been waiting for, will the Compton College graduates for the degree certificates please stand? I'd like to invite the president of the Compton College Academic Senate, Amber Gillis, to the podium. Members of the Board of Trustees and President Curry, the students before you have met the requirements for and are recommended by the faculty to receive an associate degree or certificate. By the virtue of the authority vested in me by the State of California and the Board of Trustees of the Compton Community College District, and upon the recognition by the faculty, I present to you, members of the Board of Trustees, the class of 2020. We will now confer the degrees and award the certificates to the class of 2020.
Members of the class of 2020, please stand. On behalf of everyone at Compton College, congratulations. As a symbol of the attainment of your degree, you may now change your tassel from the right to the left. As a social degree and certificate recipients, you are now Compton College alumni. Thank you for joining us today. Congratulations, class of 2020. Congratulations, class of 2020. This is Sonia Lopez, board president of Compton College, wishing you the best today and always. The world is changing and we want you to be part of that change hoping that you come up with better policies and solutions to make tomorrow a better world. We look forward to hearing from you and all the changes you plan to make. Congratulations. Felicidades a todos los graduados de hoy, clase 2020. Mi nombre es Sonia López y soy la presidenta de la mesa directiva del colegio. Y esperemos que hoy los graduados estén preparados para hacer cambios en este mundo mañana y siempre. Les deseamos lo mejor. Felicidades. Congratulations to the outstanding graduating Compton College class of 2020. Your resilience, your perseverance, and most importantly, your educational excellence is something that we all applaud. We are so proud of you. And as you venture into the next phase of your life and lead our country and our world into new and exciting places, Please remember to use your education for good. Again, we're proud of you and congratulations. Congratulations, Compton College graduates. Magic is fun and exciting. However, we do not need magic to change the world. We all carry the power we need inside each of us to preserve during these unique and uncertain times. The trick is to listen to your instincts and take advantage of all the opportunities that present themselves. Make the most of your college education. Become a change maker. Congratulations to the class of 2020. I'm Dr. Deborah LeBlanc, and I am so pleased to be able to congratulate each and every one of you. You did it. Not only have you completed your degree as we're sheltering in place, coming through our COVID-19, but you are the first graduating class since Compton Community College has received its full accreditation and then recovered. The best is yet to come. May God bless you always. Hello, I'm board member Andres Ramos. I want to congratulate you all on this milestone. This journey wasn't easy, but you've managed to finish this semester during a unique time. Just know that you've made an impact here at Compton College. Let's continue to stand together. Black Lives Matter. And congrats again to the class of 2020.
thank you all that supported me throughout this journey. I appreciate everyone. I will persist to provide a great example and a better future for my kids.
Thanks to the amazing teachers that challenged me to be better, to the counselors that helped guide me and friends and family, I couldn't have done it without your support. I am Alice Nubi, a graduate student from Compton College 2020. With coronavirus, we pursue our dream and together, see a lot. Thank you. run but we got to keep pushing forwards thank you to all the faculties and all the professors and all the students that made my time there really fun thank you all Everybody, my name is Elizabeth Rodriguez and I am a biology major. I would like to thank the STEM Center and all the staff and all my family for supporting me. Thank you. Mommy, Papi, gracias por su paciencia y su apoyo. To my siblings and friends, thank you for always being there. I love you guys all. To my professors and counselors, you guys rock. Congrats, Class of 2020. We did it! <laughs>